Okay guys, welcome back to the Technicist YouTube channel. My name is Abu Bakr Zakari and in this video is going to be the first in the Django CK Editor series. So in this video, I'm going to be setting up uh, my Django project. It's going to be a very basic Django project. So I'm going to set up the models, the views and the URLs. So first thing that we're going to do is um, create the basic simple folder. Um, let me name it um, CK Editor on Django. Alright, so open this with you know, our text editor. Just, I'm using VS Code as the text editor. Okay. Uh, next thing we gotta do now, we gotta open our terminal. Okay, right. I don't know why this is taking so long. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Git Bash. Okay, so first things first, uh, it's always good to work within a virtual environment. So I'm going to be creating a virtual environment right now. Python M env env. This might take a second. It's creating the virtual environment for me. Let's see, okay, it's not done yet. Uh, I don't know why this is taking this long. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. May open another terminal. Okay, I think I've actually been installed. Okay. Okay, so let me see. I can uh, to activate the virtual environment, I will cd into the directory. Scripts that's uh, coming into this directory right here. Okay, it's done actually. I uh, apologize for this, guys. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, it's been done. Using dot space activates activates the virtual environment. I think this is probably because I'm recording as well. Okay, when you see this like this, it means your virtual environment has been activated successfully. So now you uh, go back to the main directory by cd backwards using, you can, as you can see, I use dot dot that twice. So I'm back in uh, this directory right here. So what you got to do now is you have to install Django. Just do it using pip install Django. This will install the latest version of Django for you in your virtual environment. So these are the packages that comes before to Django. So downloading it by little. Okay, so as soon as you download it now, it's installing it. See the packages have been included here. Installing right now. Taking a while to install, should be done any moments now. Okay, so it has successfully installed. Uh, 
so now we are, have access to this command right here to start a new django project which is django admin start projects uh, let's give our project a name uh, let me just name it project <laughs> and you give a space and do uh full stop you add this so that it won't create a folder for you and then put this uh, project inside that folder so we want it to just appear in this directory right here so when you do it like this you can see it has been created next thing that you can do is you have to set or uh, let's create an app python manage.py uh, no, sorry start app let's give the app a name let's call it blog click on enter see the blog as well it has been created for us okay so now the next thing that we can do we'll go to this blog right here create a url.py file to handle our roots now within this uh, url.py file we add your url patterns because Parts. This part has to be imported. No, it's not from here. It's from um, Django.urls. But parts. So parts. Let us leave it for you to go to our home page. We leave this empty. Uh, okay. Let's just let's just comment this out for now. We'll be working on this later. First of all, we have to add the app that we just created to our project that can be done from settings.py add it to installed apps add it this way the name of our app is um let's see what did i name the app blog that's going to be blog.apps that's capital letter for the blog then config yeah like that okay so after that has been done let's create a, let's create a folder and call it templates so it's in this page that we're going to be using all our HTML, html files let's create a simple file text.html created okay let's just add like a dummy content now H1 okay so next thing to do now is to go to the project's url.py well within it we are going to have to uh, allow it to access the url.py file that we created for our app so to do that we are going to have to import Gonna need include uh, um, um, Django.config. We're gonna import settings. Uh, we're gonna also need static. So from Django.config. Dot URLs. Dot static static okay yeah i think this is it so we need to add it add the parts to the url that we just created so we're gonna leave this as empty as well include this is gonna be blog urls yes Okay, so now we need to also uh, set up the URL parts for our static files, like our media files. So that can be added using URL patterns plus equals static settings dot media 
that's the whole URL. Documents. Documents. Underscore root. Equals settings. Dot media. Underscore root. Let's see. Hope all my spellings are correct. Media URL. Media root. Okay. So, and that is having set up. We'll go back to our url.pyn of our app and comment this okay first things first let's go to our views let's create uh, a basic view first of all then uh, let's call this view home this is quests like this context we're gonna leave this empty for now and we're gonna Render it to our template. Now, requests, comma, created a template called index.html, index.html, and comma, context as well. Okay, so now we created a view. Go to URL's URL for blog. We want to import that view into this URL.py file. So it's going to be form.views import let's just import everything using asterisk so empty and then uh, the name of that view was home see it right here let's give it a name let's just call it uh, home view okay so uh, next thing that we need to do we need to go to our settings.py and add uh, our static files directory and our static roots so uh, let me okay it's like this static files this is uh, going to be important when we are deploying our project online Press the OS we import the OS and what I just did was I press tab as it highlighted it like that so this is I'm on Windows. I don't know what the command is on Mac, but on Windows, if you are type the name for any package, uh, if it shows you like this and you click on tab, it will import it. So as you can see, it has imported OS for me right here. Instead of me to go up there and import it myself. So this is os.parts. os.parts to join. Uh, no, this is capital letter base directory. We're gonna be calling our static. The next one that we need to do is add our static roots static underscore roots equals to okay. I'm just gonna copy this, place it here, but instead of static, I'm gonna call it static files. Static files. Right. Okay. Now let's handle that of image. This is a media problem, and this is a images. Next one is media underscore roots. Okay. So let me copy this once more. Oh, let me take this one instead. Copy this. Paste it here static comma images so what is going to do is that uh, any image that we upload is going to be within the static uh, directory and within that static directory there will be an image folder so if any image that we upload will be within this images folder so what we have to do right now uh, okay i think that's all let me try on the server and ensure that our project is working correctly. So first of all, we have to make migrations. So that will create a, a basic uh, SQLite database. Migrations. Okay, Python. This is managed py. Make migrations. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
it's <laughs> I need to create a model so uh, let me create a simple model let's call this model blog models models dot model like this so in this model we're going to have two fields uh, name which is going to be a character field models dot char character field okay let me draw the max length let's give you a max length of like 100 characters now we're going to have a body field this body field is going to be for now let's just use the text field since we haven't installed the ck editor yet so text field this way okay so what i gotta do now is save all the changes that i made okay okay now let's see make migrations and let me python managers py with Yes, you can see uh, simple SQL database has been created for us. So now let me try on the server. Let's see, I don't manage the PY on the server. Okay, so let's test out our projects. Okay, as you can see, it's working fine. It's uh, being routed to. This uh, index.html file that we created. Hello world. Let me change it. Everyone. Hello everyone. Okay, so our this uh, endpoint right here, that's the home page, is being pointed to the HTML page that we created. So uh, this is the first part, uh, first part in the series. So within this, I've set up the basic project. So in the next video now, I'm going to be downloading and setting up the CK editor to be used as the text editor in both the back end and the HTML pages that's on the front end as well. So uh, I'll see you guys in the very next video. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe. It will go a very long way in helping a young channel like mine to grow so that we'll be able to bring more helpful content to you guys. So thanks again and until next time.